Hello everybody, welcome back to the Nutrition Vixen channel. If you are new to my channel, I am grateful for you to stop in. My name is Heather and I am a registered dietitian. Right now I am uh, working as a contract dietitian for a long-term care facility in Redding, California, and I'm actually living in a hotel. So I also have my private practice and um, still have my client calls. Obviously I'm running this YouTube channel as well. So I've got a lot of things going on and people ask me all the time, how do you keep it all together? How do you stay balanced and so positive and upbeat and have high energy levels? And I thought about it and I was like, how about I just show you? So what I'm gonna do tonight is kind of walk you through a typical evening routine. So you can kind of get a glimpse into what a typical work night evening looks like for me. And then part two or part one, I'm not sure how I will release these, whether I show you the morning routine first or the evening routine, whatever, they go hand in hand. One sets the other one up for success. So anyway, I am going to walk you through the evening routine tonight, show you what I do, and then um, I will also, you have the morning routine that I will show you as well, but that will be a different video. So anyway, let's get started. So I just got home, I uh, came in, changed my clothes into something more comfortable, grabbed the puppy, took him out to go to the bathroom because he is also living here in the hotel with me. And so um, I have to let him out so he can relieve himself. And then we get to our typical evening. So let's get started. First thing I'm gonna do is make dinner. So I'm gonna show you how I can cook a healthy meal in a hotel in very little amount of time. So let's go do some cooking. Okay, so for tonight's menu, we are going to saute some vegetables. I've got some zucchini and some red cabbage, and then we are going to saute some mahi-mahi. So I already have the zucchini prepped and ready to go, as well as the red cabbage, and I took out the mahi-mahi filet this morning before I left for work, and it is all ready to go, so let's get started. And then in here, in here I made some um, black bean curry with cilantro, lime, wild rice. And then over here I've got lettuce that's already like little lettuce cups. So I will just heat this up tomorrow and then serve this in these lettuce cups. All right, so lunch is packed. All I gotta do is throw my ice packs in in the morning. And I have everything I need for a healthy, nutritious lunch. Okay, so another thing I like to do to save me a little bit of time in the morning while my dinner, while this is sauteing, is I like to get my coffee ready for in the morning. So all I have to do when I go to take the doggy out to go potty after the alarm hits is just hit power. I think a lot of people are scared to fish or cook fish themselves. You saw how easy it was. It's super quick, just a few seasonings, a little um, lemon juice, the amino brags gives it lots of flavor. After I'm done eating, 
I am going to tidy up the kitchen and then I am going to start my bath. Big, huge component of part of my evening routine. Super excited, I look forward to it all day long. My bath is probably one of the biggest sacred rituals I do every evening that helps keep me balanced. Tonight is a full moon, the energy is significant, so it's going to help draw out all of the impurities that my body is harboring. And the Epsom salt has a lot of magnesium, so that magnesium helps to support the liver detoxification process. So it helps to just get rid of all that yucky stuff, especially if you're a female who's PMSing, taking Epsom salt baths regularly can really be beneficial to your mental menstrual cycle and it's just really relaxing helps soothe the muscles I also put essential oils in there to elicit the senses I'll walk you through all that all right so I've got dinner cleaned up that took me like a second and now I am going to do what I normally do after I've eaten and got my lunch made and dinner all prepped and ready to go. And that is set the environment for a restful night's sleep. So I've been working long hours. It's been really stressful. By the time I'm done, my energy level is definitely a lot lower than the vibration I carry when I leave in the morning. So it's time for me to let go of all of that and um, set myself up for success tomorrow. So one of the first things I do is come over here. I have a diffuser and I keep a bottle of water in this glass so that it's one less thing I have to seek out and do. And then in this top drawer, I have a couple different essential oils. Tonight, I am going to be using the eucalyptus. So I put, a, I don't know, a lot of drops in there. I really like the eucalyptus. And then I turn on the beautiful color light. Maybe. Mm, see, that already helps. There we go. I like it when it changes colors because I like lots of colors. So I'm kind of weird like that, but whatever. All right, so I am gonna go into the bathroom. Well, actually, I'm a liar. I am going to light this other fabulous incense. This one is um, called Purification. This one, actually, let me get the literature out about it. So this essential oil is purification. It's sacred cedar and lavender, which I really like. Um, so that combined with the eucalyptus really set the sleep vibes. So um, ironically enough, I was like, oh, I need to reach out to this company. And I flip it over and they are located in Laguna Niguel, California. So like right back home, must be fate. I got this at Mount Shasta at one of the crystal shops there. I don't remember which crystal shop, but it was one of them. Anyway, I set that. Mmm, and I like to set this one over by my bed on this side so that when I'm taking my bath, it kind of wafts in. Another thing that I am going to do tonight that I will show you because it is a full moon, even though I can't see the full moon, I'm not happy about it, is do some saging. So I am clearly possessing some negative vibes and I think uh, doing a little sage will be good for me. This is a feather sage fan that I made myself. I don't know if you can see this or not, but this is specifically for anxiety. The crystal here is a, starts with a L, anyway, I can't remember, lepidite or something like that. This actually has traces of lithium in it. So way back in the day, they used this crystal for patients that suffered with different psychiatric disorders. Now I'm using it as the wand to help relieve stress and let go of all the negative vibes from the BS that I'm living on a regular basis. So I will light some sage. This is cleansing. This is um, some white sage from California. It's gonna smell so good up in here. I got all kinds of things going. So the purpose of the feather fan is to waft it towards you. And as you waft it, it helps you get rid of all that negative energy. And I'm really utilizing the benefits of the full moon tonight to help get rid of all the rest of this BS. So listen, people, if I can maintain sanity going through what I'm going through right now, 
it's possible for anyone to live their best life and feel zen. You just gotta put the energy and effort into it like I have. So, P.S. If you know a better way to waft, let me know. Leave me your comments below about how I mispronounce words, don't know how to say things. I'm open to it all. It'll be great. Another thing I do is indulge in these little Dove chocolates. These are dark chocolate. One of my favorite things about this is that I don't feel guilt at all zero when I indulge in these chocolates. And the way that it elicits a positive response in my brain is when I open it and I pull out the chocolate, there's a fabulous little positive affirmation inside and this one says, be unique. So I have a pile of them that I've been collecting. However, I do think potentially that because I've been eating the dark chocolate at night, it might be keeping me up from the caffeine. So I'm gonna have to really stay in check in terms of how many I have. Four is a serving, I'm gonna try and keep it at four. Wish me luck. So part of my bath time routine is Epsom salt, as I had mentioned earlier. And this is just the generic Walmart version. This is also eucalyptus scented. It helps to unwind and relax. So now I've already got the eucalyptus in the diffuser. I've got the purification with the cedar and the lavender. I did the sage. I am so getting there, guys. So getting there. I can feel the stress just melting away. So time to submerge myself. One of the things I promised myself for 2019 is that I would take better care of my skin. So I'm in my 40s, as y'all know, and it's time for me to start thinking about maintaining that youthful glow. And I am super guilty of never, ever, ever washing my face, taking my makeup on, or really doing anything. I don't know if I've just been blessed or good genetics, whatever, um, or if it's just because I drink a lot of water and eat pretty healthy foods. But as I'm getting older, I do wanna try to take care of my skin. And um, so this is a new component I have started in my nightly routine, the whole face care thing. So I'm gonna take off all my bracelets, charge up the Apple Watch, I'm actually gonna set the guy, these uh, bracelets all in the uh, windowsill. Even though I can't see the full moon right now, I'm hoping that it's gonna peek through at some point and help recharge all of my beads so that I can have a fresh start tomorrow. I use these little cotton pads to take off my eye makeup. And I've been using this Mary Kay eye makeup remover forever. Um, I like it the best. I have super sensitive skin, so it seems to uh, not cause any kind of uh, breakout for me. Um, it is oil, it does have oil in it, it's an oil base. Oh, I'm sorry. It's an oil free makeup remover. Silly me. I've also started using this beauty counter um, makeup remover. I really like this. This company is ethical and they don't test on animals. They don't use any harsh chemicals, nothing bad. It's all natural. And this is the cleansing balm. So you just rub it on your face in circular motions. It's exciting stuff, isn't it? So another thing that I like to do, because I like to multitask as much as possible, um, I have this app called Think Up. And with this app, it is a positive affirmation app that allows you to record your voice saying really amazing things about yourself. So one of my practices when I'm in the bathtub is to try and either do that or I do like the guided meditation. Something to help me just kind of take, let it all go away and be able to enjoy the moment. I do try to stay in the bathtub for about 15 minutes. What research shows is submerging yourself in the Epsom salt for 15 minutes will help to 
pull the impurities from your body and also infuse the magnesium to help support liver function in that second phase of detoxification. And Dash loves to come in and lay down on the floor next to me, but if I get anywhere near him with the water, he runs away. So I'm gonna start the app and start relaxing. I now intend to create a connection with my root chakra. May I feel grounded and secure in my being and existence. I release all fear that keeps me from feeling safe in my life. So again, I'm using more beauty counter products. This is the I Adaptive Moisture have Lotion. I also leave the positive affirmation playing in the background while I go through this process. I am willing to step out of my comfort zone. And now so some instant glow. And then I mix in a drop of this brightening vitamin C I have the oil. Energy. I have this fabulous jade roller and I use this to roll in and stimulate circulation in my face. So roll in that moisturizer, get it all in there really good. It's also great for helping to push, push toxins through the lymphatic system, the nodes in our neck. The excellence of my service it's great for headaches, the level of my income. especially if you got a hangover. I give more than ever before. I increase my standards. And then I also have this jade stone that I use to help really push stuff through in that lymphatic system. So just being that I just got out of the bath and got some good blood flow, I want to try and push that stuff through. With the right clients, prospect, associates, and friends. All right, so now I'm gonna make a hot cup of tea and then I am going to get everything set up for my guided meditation. It's about 8.25 now. Um, I wanna try and be asleep somewhere between like 9 and 9.30 at the latest because I am going to, be, yeah, 9, 9. I need to be asleep by 9 tonight because I wanna get up at 4 a.m. and do my morning routine. My calls start at 6 a.m. and then I gotta be at the facility right after that, so I need to get at least seven hours of sleep. So if I hurry up, I think I can be ready and asleep by nine-ish. Okay, so another thing I wanted to show you, even though I can't see the moon right now, I have all of my everyday crystals that I use and wear, including my water bottle, basking in the windowsill, so hopefully they can absorb some of the moonlight's special powers and cleanse them and recharge them so they will help get me through the next couple of weeks. So I just thought I'd show you guys. Okay, one thing I wanna show you guys, this here is amethyst and this is smoky quartz. These help to support and promote solid, restful sleep. So I keep those bedside. This here is uh, selenite. I'm not sure if I pronounced that right. Anyway, this crystal, it doesn't really have to be charged because it doesn't absorb energy. It just helps to cleanse these guys. And then over here, I've got my lavender. I'll roll onto my wrist and um, behind my ears. This is shungite and shungite helps to deflect EMF waves. So as you can see, I've got all the electronic stuff which isn't necessarily ideal to have bedside. We wanna protect ourselves from those waves. So these, these little guys are really expensive. They're like 10 bucks a piece. I hope to be able to purchase a big triangle of shungite to help with that. Um, but keeping this stuff by your electronics is really good. I had one on my cell phone, however, um, it didn't stick. So I'm gonna have to come up with something better. And then here, are my magnets so when I do my guided meditation I take one off and put it at each spot um, where my my chakras are and this helps to promote energy flow in full disclosure I only ate two of those chocolates because I've already brushed my teeth I've got some more water that I will drink I decided not to do the tea tonight only because I I'm running out of time and I really want to get solid sleep and then back there, I've got my thyroid medication. So that's the first thing I do in the morning is take that. 
Hopefully I'll have a swig of water left over. It's time for me to start the guided meditation. All right, well, I really hope that you guys have found this beneficial. I realize that my circumstances are probably a little bit different than other people's, being that, <laughs> number one, I'm here by myself living in this hotel. I don't have a boyfriend or a significant other. I did, my children aren't here with me. They are self-sufficient and taking care of themselves. I can't believe that they're that old already. So anyway, I realize that, you know, my circumstances don't match everyone else's circumstances. However, I'm sure there's a few things that I have touched or covered over the course of this video that you could probably relate to or you know maybe be interested in trying one of these things to help improve your nightly routine so that your morning and next day goes better. So I'm gonna go ahead and get to the guided meditation. Like I mentioned, I am going to place one of these magnets on each of my chakras. We have seven different chakras. And then I am going to take my amethyst and my smoky quartz and hold onto them in my dominant and non-dominant hand. And then I will also put my pillow over my eyes to help with further relaxation. And the guided meditation video that I use is um, by a guy named Scott Sandlin. And um, I love his stuff. I've purchased a lot of his work. He has a ton of different hypnosis meditations for specific purposes. So tonight, the one I am going to do, I don't remember what it's called. But anyway, I shall get to it. Thank you again for joining me. If you haven't already, Please like and subscribe below. My favorite products that I have discussed tonight, I will also link below so that you can find them if you're interested in them yourself. And here is the hypnosis video. So I shall get to it. Sweet dreams, everybody.